this is Jackie Williams, and in this video, I want to share with you a fun project with the new Dainty Delight bundle. This is available in the mini catalog, and behind here, I have the Dainty Papers, and these are available as a free celebration gift with qualifying purchase. So I've got some samples to show you using these beautiful papers at the end of the video. Now to start our project, I have cut a piece of watercolor paper, four and a quarter by four and a quarter inches square. You could also use shimmer white, but this technique does not work well with basic white or vanilla. And I have stamped the largest dainty flower image there in Versamark, and then used white embossing powder and heat it uh, so that I've got a nice white embossed image here. Then in this little dish, I've just put in some water and a few drops of crumb cake ink refill. And I have got my largest water painter. So these water painters come in a set of three and you have a couple of smaller brushes and then one that is quite thick. And this thick one is really great for techniques like this. Now I'm gonna first get my paper wet where I want the ink to go. And then I'm gonna pick up some of this color. And by getting it wet first, for one, the color moves a little easier. And also, it does kinda of contain where the water's going to go. And I think I'm gonna just leave it like that. So it's uh, a fairly pale watercolor wash just there in the background. Now, one of the things I really like about Crumb Cake and a few other of our inks is they actually start to separate the colors start to separate when they are wet. They call these vagabond inks, which I think is a cool name as well. So you can see that there's a little bit of green and even some pink that's coming through. So as that dries, that will become more pronounced. Now I have one here that I did earlier that is already dry. So now I wanna take my very small water painter and I'm gonna use my ink pads for this to just color in the flowers. Now I can use my ink pads because it's just a very small amount. So to use your ink pads, you just squeeze the back of the ink pad and then you open it up and there will be a nice puddle of ink there in the lid. Then I'm just going to pick up some color and start painting in my flowers. Next, I'm gonna take my soft suede ink and do the same thing. And I'm actually gonna use soft suede to color in those leaves. Next, I'm just gonna add a few little splatters. And I have a Stampin' Blend that has been well and truly munched. So I don't feel too bad using this to just add a little bit of splatter to some of my projects. And now I'll use Early Espresso and just add some words here over to the side. You could add a label, but I quite like how there aren't many layers and then the stamping and the painting are really the star of the show. I'm just using my scissors to rough up the edges there. If you like that look, if you wanna leave it nice and clean, then you can certainly skip that. And then I'm just layering that onto a piece of vanilla that is four and three eighths by four and three eighths. I'll put that to the side. Now I've got a card base that is five by 10 inches. And then I've cut a piece that is four and three quarter inches square of crumb cake and embossed that with the brick folder. Now I've cut a few pieces from the Dainty Flowers papers, just as little accents. We just wanna see which one I like better. I quite like the darker one better. So hopefully you do too. So I'm just going to put those, I think I'll do them on the side here. This is actually quite a favorite technique of mine, using just little scraps of paper to add a background. And then when I put this over the top, that paper appears to be going all the way across. And now we just need to add some embellishments. So I have the Starry Sky Metallic Ribbon or this new Knight of Navy Bordered Ribbon. I think that I don't really like the uh, sparkly ribbon with this as much. So I've taken that Bordered Ribbon, I've actually cut it in half 
lengthwise and I'm just going to make two loops and tie a simple bow. I've cut way too much here, but that's okay. I will use it. Yeah, just I think just a small bow. And then I've just done up a bow in the linen thread that I can put with that too. And I'll just cut those a bit shorter. Then next we just need a few embellishments and I'm gonna use the beautiful iridescent pearls and the rhinestones, the iridescent rhinestones. And there is our card all finished. Here's one that I made earlier in a different colorway using the Bermuda Bay and then pool party ribbons. And I just kept the background completely neutral. So which ones of those do you like better? Now I do have a few other samples to share with you. So this is using the Dainty Delight stamps and I've done a background here using masking and my blending brushes. It's quite pretty. And then this one is just a simple card and I like the pairing with the stripes in the background. And this time I did use the dies to cut the flowers out so they're a little more three-dimensional. And then this is a sample by one of my team members, Leslie Scott, for a team swap that we did. And she's colored in here with the uh, pencils. So that's a nice, easy way to color in those images too. And then these samples I made using just the dies. So, well, I mean, I did use the word stamps, I suppose. But um, this one is quite fun. And I took this idea from one of the artisan team members, Melody Viljoen. I think is how you say your name and I liked this idea of cutting out these dies out of this paper out of the dainty flowers uh, free paper pack so there's one of the prints has got just like these watercolor splodges and so it's quite nice to just use those for your die cutting and then you get that watercolored look uh, you know very quickly and then here's another one. This one is one of my favorites because I love the little daisies in this set. It's, it's a fun fold opening card. So I did a video on this earlier. So you can check out my YouTube playlist under fun fold for this one. And then this one's another swap from a team member, Paula Reed, just using those same flowers and stems to create a flower pot. And then I made a few samples using the papers or featuring the papers. And this is that really nice border print and just paired it with a few other prints and then kept it actually quite simple with just a label and a few little embellishments. And then sometimes papers with these type of prints are a little bit harder to know how to use. So I wanted to make a sample with those. And this is what I came up with. I think I was inspired by some samples off of Pinterest. So just using that as kind of a wreath in the background, already pre-printed, but then adding some dimension with the dies. I hope this video has given you lots of inspiration for using the Dainty Delight bundle and the Dainty Flower papers. Please leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with a friend. And of course, please subscribe and I'll see you next video. This is Jackie Williams. Bye-bye.